Hello, random viewers, and welcome back to... not back, but welcome to Season 2 of my Kerbal Space Program Let's Play. So we're gonna start a new one. And I've got... I've planned this out a little bit, so it won't be as bad. Yeah, we'll use that flag. That flag is good. Mm, difficulty normal, I'll do that. What's that gonna do? Ah, uh, yes. Custom. So I'm going to change a little bit. Starting funds, yeah, that's fine. What I'm going to do is science reward here. Is it 100%? Uh, where is it? I think it is just science reward. I'm changing it down to 50%. So that's going to make getting science a lot harder, which means that we're going to have to do more flights. So that'll make things more difficult, but I think that'll be fine. What's that? Dead? What, what is that? Decline penalty? Okay. Must be, uh, reputation. No, that's reputation. I don't know. Who knows? That's what I'm going to do. So we're going to have to accept that, and we're going to start. And I'm not going to show you the building portions where I build the rockets due to graphical glitches that I've been experiencing inside the BAB and SPH, and that'll help you keep your sanity. These videos will be a much higher quality than Season 1, and they'll hopefully be more enjoyable. So I'm going to pause the recording, build my first rocket, and I will explain more when I've done that. Alright, I'm back. I accepted some contracts. Two, actually. We just have to launch a vessel, and we have to take a crew report, so we will do that. Crew report. Yay. Yep. Science value is definitely lower. Can we do this safely? Okay, let's do EVA report. Yeah. Okay, keep that data and let's take the data board and then we'll hit SAS. I've set the thrust limiter to 60% throttle, so that should be it. Let's go. Of course, tons of acceleration. Crew report. Great. That's pretty good. Oh wow, we're going through the sound barrier already. Lots of G-forces. Um, is this safe? Probably not. Okay. I'm gonna disengage the SAS, we don't need it anymore. Getting pretty high up. What do we get? We got... Oh, yay. We got all kinds of stuff. Great. Get this, uh, money. Then that... Yep, they gave us money. That's good. So I'm calling this rocket the Altair. Um, the reason for that is because it starts with an A, so it'll be great to have everything in alphabetical order of, like, research. And I'll explain that system later, maybe. Or you'll probably just figure it out yourself. Uh, also, that's the name of a star. I looked it up. It means something like flying one or something along those lines. It's a very bright star that you can see from Earth, so it's a great name for a first rocket. And yeah, we were picking up speed, so I thought it was time to deploy the parachute. Maybe I deployed it too early. Who knows? We lived, so that's all that matters. And then the parachute should deploy. Um, I'll probably skip ahead to the actual landing. We're about to hit the surface, so... We didn't quite make it to the ocean, that's fine. Parachute opened and there were a lot of G-forces, but luckily Jebediah loved it because he's Jebediah, that's what he does, he enjoys dangerous things. Ooh, the parachute stays with it for a while. That's new. So there, that's the first flight of the Altair. Now hopefully we could get some more science data. I'm gonna do an EVA. Let's uh, take out that data. Let's see if we can get any more data. Can you do an EVA report out here? Yes, keep that data. And we'll get science data from the water later. Board. All right, so let's recover the vessel. Looks like there's smoke coming off of it. I wonder if that's a new feature. Who knows? All right, we got nine science. That's pretty good. Yep, a lot less than we would have gotten, but that's pretty good. We got some XP. And, yeah, we made lots of money. That's good. I just did that. So let's do research and development. More engines. 
Well, more science. Oh, I can do both. I've got seven left. Yeah, not enough for those. So we'll just get both of those. Basic rocketry and engineering 101. So now we'll build the Altair 1A, and I will be right back. I just realized something. Going really high and escaping the atmosphere and stuff is not safe without a heat shield. So I'm going to gather some science just around the space center. Like, just taking out the new science experiments that I just got. Like, these two here. And then I will actually do the things that I was said I was going to do. So I'll be back after I get some more science. I was having trouble getting all the science that I needed, so I'm going to send this craft over to the ocean. So we'll do that now. No. It's very hard to steer, as you can imagine. Looks like we'll be making it to the ocean. So that's good. As soon as we start to descend, I'll open up the parachute. I've got all kinds of science equipment on it, so that should help it. Yeah, I'm going to open that up immediately to help us slow down. Minimum pressure, altitude, I'm going to say more like that. That'll help us slow down in time. Yes. Definitely necessary. Okay. I'll come back when we make it to the water. So there's the water. Now we're going to get science. So we'll observe the mystery goo, get a little bit of science. Oh. They changed the message. Cool. The last message was something like the goo is escaping. That was funny. Oh, I just opened the doors. That's all I managed. Okay. Yeah, great. How dull a message. Then we'll do a crew report. I thought we did that. Okay. And we're not really on the shore, we're kind of just... Who knows? EVA report? Fine. Keep the data. No. Store data. Then we'll go into the water. A Kerbal's float. It's funny. EVA report. Yeah, that's great. Fine. Be that way. I don't know why we're not getting it from the water, because we're kind of in the water, obviously. Alright, we got a little bit of science from that, then we'll recover that. Nice, we have enough science for a heat shield. That's what we needed. So we'll unlock that. Oh, we also got more parachutes. Great, so I will design the Altair 1A, and I will return. So here's the Altair 1A. This one is probably going to go a lot higher, so we'll go now. Yeah. It's a lot faster. I feel a little sorry for Jeb. The acceleration's not going to be pleasant. Probably should have put some fins on it. We'll be okay. Right now I just want to escape the atmosphere. I have the sensor SRV on a thrust limiter, so it won't... It'll last a lot longer than the outer two. The outer two are almost out. Yeah. So they're really going to push us along, and then the center one's going to continue to push us. Yeah, we're losing speed, but that's okay. We'll probably start to gain it again. Real Plume mod is still doing its job wonderfully. Is that a word? Wonderfully? I think so. Yep. 71 kilonewtons of thrust. I figured out how much a kilonewton is. It's actually a lot more than you think. It's quite a bit of thrust. How are we doing on our orbit? Oh, they changed the color too. The Epweps is increasing. That's good. Come on, we gotta start gaining speed. Seriously. Come on. Alright, we're almost out of fuel. Alright, this will push us the rest of the way up. Hopefully. Yeah. And this will recharge our batteries in the capsule. So that should be good. 
How are we doing on fuel? Just fine. Yeah, this engine's very overpowered for what I have it doing. I'm not complaining, though. It's nice to have that power. Now. Yeah, I love fire. It's so fun to watch that. How are we doing here? Pretty good. We... Mm, I still doubt we'll achieve orbit, but we're getting better. They changed the text tech tree around it. You have the engine that has gimbal now. Um, as the first one. It used to be that you'd have the one that didn't have gimbal. It was slightly more efficient though, so I can understand the change. Oh, I love this smoke. It's so great. So that's still increasing. Yeah, I don't think we're going to orbit, but we're definitely going into space. I'll allow that to keep increasing. How's the thrust? Pretty low. Yeah, it's still looking very good. I didn't bring any science experiments just because I'm trying to figure out, like, weight. But, um, yeah, I should be able to build a rocket that has science experiments next. So as soon as we go into space, I'll take the crew report. That's the only scientific data I can do. I can't get out of the rocket until I upgrade certain things. Great, we're in space now, so I'm gonna do a crew report. Good. Yeah, oh wow, that's not a lot of science. Alright, whatever. I'll disengage the SAS, we don't need it. Everything's out. Great, so I will now decouple. That should push us along a little bit more. Yep, definitely not orbit. I'll spin us around too. We got that. That's good. And then records broken. That's great. I also um drained a lot of the ablator from the heat shield. It only has half. That's because you don't need it and you can save a little bit of money. I admit it's kind of ch a cheap move, but, you know, saving money this early on is helpful, and I don't need that full heat shield. I usually don't even touch the ablator very much. But going into space like that, you're going to want a little bit, otherwise you'll overheat and die, which is always nice. Oh, I can do that, too. Yep, look at that. Oh, I should stop time accelerating so that I don't overload things. So yeah, see, it's losing the blader a little bit. It's not going to lose much. However, again, we want it so that we don't overheat and die. So I'll come back when we're getting closer to the ground. The plants will just disappear and the parachute will open. That's the only interesting thing that'll be happening. Looks like we're going to be landing on the side of a cliff going down into the ocean. So that's interesting. This is just a small hill. It's not bad. I've landed on some pretty steep cliffs before, and that was not fun. Was that in one of my videos? It may have been. I can't remember. And then here comes the ground. And we're gonna roll. Is it gonna stop rolling? Please, can you stop rolling? Please, stop rolling. I want to let the Kerbal get out so that I can get science over here. Come on, Jebediah. And out. Before it rolls on top of you. Oh, you might want to board now. Alright, we're rolling down to the ocean. That's great. Stop moving. Please. We're going to take the data. We're going to board it. Get the EVA report. Where is that? EVA. Crew report. Kerbin's Tundra. This is not the Tundra. But fine. We're gonna take all that data. That way, in case we do lose the capsule, we'll be okay. Then we'll do an EVA report. Yeah, whatever. And then we'll recover 
we'll have to recover them separately, but I can do that. So I'll be right back, and uh, we'll send us rocket similar to this one that has science instruments. So I'll see you then. We're actually going to need to upgrade the launch pad because right now we can only do 18 tons. If we upgrade it for 75,000, we can do 140 tons. So that should be helpful. VAB is very expensive to upgrade, so we'll wait to do that. So we'll have a part limit, but we'll, we'll be okay. All right, I changed the staging around a little bit, so only a few of these solid rocket boosters will fire at a time. I added some more fuel tanks here. If you've noticed, there's two more boosters here, and we have science stuff. So this rocket should be more efficient. Uh, we actually don't make any money off of this mission, but we should make a, a lot of science, so that'll make it worth the small loss. It's not that expensive. These are some of the graphical glitches I was telling you about. When I'm sure they'll be... I hope there'll be another patch to fix the flickering flags, flickering paint inside the VAB. I, I believe the flag on the side of the rocket's fine, so I don't know what it is. That's what happens when there's a new update, but anyways, we're ready to go now. Yep, so here we go. I'm just gonna go on two boosters for now. I'm gonna try and be gentle on the acceleration. And we have fins, so that'll help us steer. These boosters have 100% thrust, the next ones have 70, and the last one has slightly less. Like, 45, yes. I started the others right before those ones burned out. So that should be good. Yeah, see, we're a lot higher up, and we still have a lot of our solid fuel left. Yeah, we've got to carry the, extra, the empty weight of these around, but that's okay. It's worth the gains that we're making on fuel efficiency. Yeah, they do create drag, but that's fine. They're starting that sense booster now. We want to burn off some of its fuel before the outer ones burn off. Okay. We're still losing lots of speed that core booster. I hope we don't have to leave it. That thrust is nice. Stop going that way. The rocket is not flying the way that I want it to. Yeah, the g-forces are pretty bad. I don't think I'm gonna have to up the thrust on that sensor booster. Yeah, we're just not accelerating quickly enough. Stop falling over. Okay, good. We're accelerating. We're accelerating. That's great. Stop it. I'm gonna have to jettison soon. There we go. Now we've got thrust. This can put us into space now. Okay, we've got to climb. Yeah, we've got up the thrust on that central booster. And we don't get out of control on me. I'm gonna go full power. Just to help us climb. Please climb. 32. Fuel levels. Mm, not great, but we're okay. There. That's much better. Valentina's pretty happy, so that's good. Oh, lag spike. What happened to the decreased lag in 1.1? Why am I getting a sudden lag spike? I'll look up at space. That sometimes helps. Okay, we're getting a very bad lag spike. I don't know what it is. Okay, game runs fine out here. We're gonna throttle back a little bit. Does that help at all? Oh, it's the flames and the real plume stuff. How are we doing? 80? Maybe we will make orbit. I'm gonna kill the engines at about 90. It'll come down because of the atmosphere, but we should have enough momentum to drift off into space. Let's do a crew report from way up here. Keep that data. We can get a crew report later. And then we'll observe one mystery goo thing. Goo seems to be getting very cold. That's nice. I wonder if we will be able to make orbit. We might. That'd be great if we could. How are we doing? Yep, still pretty good. 
And now we're in space. Great. So I will now try and boost us higher, but we'll see. That should burn off the rest of our fuel very quickly. No, I don't think we're going to make orbit. No, definitely not. Yeah. Close, though. Yeah, not bad. Getting close to orbital technology. So, can we do a crew report here? No. We got a crew report from suborbital, so we don't need to do that. Okay. Message, that's nice. Then we'll grab some of the Mr. Goose. Oh wait, we've got one already. So we'll observe the other one. And... To clumped into a sphere. Yeah. Great. Oh, I forgot to mess with the staging. I will fix that. And I'm going to adjust these parachutes. I want them to open. Oh good. That's all set nicely. I'll kill the minimum pressure. I don't like the whole minimum pressure thing. I don't understand. But who knows. Okay, we need to separate. Oh no. What is that? Okay, I, I think I understand. They might have it. I think they have a new numbering system. Yes, yes, that's what they have. Got it. So I will now decouple from this. We don't need it anymore. <laughs> Okay, I'll quick save before I do it again, just in case. There we go. Yeah, that was weird. I'll put us on a slight rotation. Yeah, so we'll be re-entering the atmosphere soon. Yeah, I don't like this capsule design. It doesn't work so well with the Kerbal. It sends them flying. But it's the only way I've found that you can safely attach these things, because they're huge. But they're really lightweight, actually, so if you put them underneath the capsule, it'll flip upside down, which is not safe. So this is the only way that I know of bringing this back on a capsule. Unless you have a bigger capsule, it's, it's just bad. I'll figure out a way at some point when I get, like, a bigger capsule. But right now, this is what you've got to do to get the science data. Unless you take the data out, but until we get... Oh, what's it called? EVAs, where we can do that, that's not an option, because it won't let you get out of the capsule unless you're in an atmosphere. The spacesuits, I guess, aren't ready or something. Who knows? We lost a little bit of our ablator, actually, during launch from that overheating. We went a lot more shallow than I wanted to. I'm going to quick save here. Just, I'm going to test turning off the SAS. Do we stay steady, steady stable? Yes, we do. That's good. Why are you still there? Go away. Why don't you go away? There you go. That's better. I think we're on the other side of the planet. Yeah, we launched from there. We're way over here. Well, maybe not the other, whole other side. Oh, there's one of the... There are only two rivers on this planet. There's one of them. Yeah. I don't know what kind of planet this is to only have two rivers. But hey. Losing a blader pretty quickly. Lost a whole 10 units. We've still got a lot of speed to kill. I'm not concerned yet, though. We're fine. How much money did we lose on this? No, not too much. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Very, very little money. We're fine. I think this thing costed about 10000 We have $200,000, so we're fine. Definitely fine. And... Yeah, we have plenty of blader. We're gonna continue decelerating like this, and then I'll open up the drogue chutes. And closer to the end of the fall, I'll open up the main chute. There goes that piece. It'll explode pretty soon. It's fun to watch that. Will it hit the hill? No, it's probably gonna hit this hill. Is it? Come on, hit the hill. 
the drug shoots. There we go. Are you gonna hit the hill yet? Come on. I wanna see an explosion. Yeah, it's hitting the hill. Oh. Or am I seeing it wrong? Oh, I thought it flew over this hill. I was gonna hit this one, but I was wrong. There it goes. If the drogue shoots are helping, that's good. Are they gonna open soon? That'd be nice if they'd open. There they go. Do they always spin like that? Hmm. That's weird. Yeah, you could not land just on drug shoots. I'll open up the main chute when we get lower down. Yeah, tell me in the comments if you want to see all the re-entries, like this, all the way through. If this is boring for you, tell me. There's the main chute, and it should open up and slow us down even further. Oh, I'm glad we're not hitting that. I've hit cliffs that bad before. That was bad. Now, with the two, three parachutes, though, we should be okay. And here we go. I wonder what biome this is. Okay, will you stop rolling, please? Like, please stop rolling. Okay, it's just gonna roll down this hill. That's fine. It'll probably stop when it hits this little thing here. I'm probably gonna slow it down a little bit. We've got enough electricity. Okay, you gonna stop now? Apparently not. Can you please stop rolling? Okay. Gonna click EVA. Oh, wow. Please don't die. What was... Do you see what I mean about that science container? How it sends you flying? Yeah. Let's do EVA report. And yes, you're right. Now shush. Right, let's take the data. Let's quick save before I kill myself. Come on. And board. Then let's do another crew report. Highlands, that's where we are. Okay. That's plenty of science, so let's recover the vessel. And we'll wait until it finally is done recovering. 49 science, wow. So we got 26.9. That's pretty good. Parts. And we made 2,000 of our 10,000 back. Not bad. She gained some experience. That's great. Now, what do we want? We can get electrical stuff. Oh, we can get that stuff. Don't really need it. Get side mounted decouplers, that would be helpful. Don't really need that. Do we get any new cockpits anywhere? That gives us the hitchhiker storage container. Where do all these things send us? What about that? That gives us a cockpit. I have an app, uh, app okay, a contract to put some tourists into space. That's what I want. Okay. How do I get there? 20 there, probably 45 here. The electrical systems are nice. Probes are nice. The thermometer's nice. All this stuff is pretty nice. Batteries. Yeah, I kind of do want to have satellites. That way I cannot feel guilty about not having satellites, I guess. It's that. Okay. So yeah, we'll get this for now. And we'll have to get more of these. So I'm going to see if we can build a tourist rocket. It'll be pretty crazy. All we have to do is a suborbital trajectory. So I'll be right back. Here's our next rocket for the tourist contract that I have. We've got to put two tourists into a suborbital trajectory. One of them has to ride upside down, which is very unpleasant I hear, but hey, who cares. This is the best looking way to do it that I can think of. So let's go. And how do I do this? I think I, yeah, that's right. So I've adjusted these a little bit, but it's the same basic under bit as the last rocket. 
slightly shorter fuel tanks here because they don't need to go as high. They just went suborbital. I'm not going to go close to orbital like the last one. So here we go. I'll make sure we don't go as shallow. I've turned off the reaction wheels on most of these. Okay, you're right. Yeah. Here go the next rockets. Good. How are we doing on electricity? We're doing just fine because we have three capsules now. Stop going off course. I don't know why you keep going off course. Stop going off course. Just, just stop it. Stop. What happened to SAS? There's a reason we have it. We're going to ignite the center now. Those poor Kerbals. Those poor tourists. They're terrified. But this is what they get. They wanted to go to space. Yeah, we're still slowing down. I said this one is 60% now. So it's going to drain its fuel a lot faster. And I started it earlier, so... It should help. Somewhat. Stop doing that. Go in the direction I want you to go, please. Please go in the direction I want you to go. It's annoying when these things don't cooperate well. Come on. Yeah, it's not flying too well. There we go. Use that engine, and we'll throttle up to full. That should push us into space. Yep, and now we're climbing. Good. And I'll throttle back down to two-thirds thrust. We don't need that kind of crazy acceleration that we were getting. Yeah, because upside down, those G-forces are... You lay on your back, usually, when you go into space, when you're upside down and hanging downwards. It's very unpleasant. So we're going to try to make this not too uncomfortable for them. I think 2 Gs of acceleration is enough. How are we doing there? Um, I think we'll have enough fuel. We'll see. Yeah, we've got enough fuel. Cutting it pretty tight. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, down to the last fuel tank, and that should soon run out. And well, now they're going suborbital. Uh, I don't think it'll pay me till I get into space. Actually, I will. I did not do the staging again. Nice. I'll just do that. Do that. And next, I'll decouple this. Please, just decouple how I want you to. There it goes. So now we're just drifting. I'll disable the SAS, we don't need it. Gonna pay me once they get into space. Yep, there it goes. A two done. Oh, because I got the suborbital space flight, so that's the one part of the contract then. And then I've got to recover the vessel before I get the real pay. So I guess we'll go back now. Hopefully I don't need the SAS too much during this flight. Now we're entering the atmosphere. And I'm going to fast forward through the reentry. Okay, we have a big issue. I'm going to try and quick save. We're falling very quickly. No. Dang it. We're falling very fast. I accidentally hit the spacebar twice because it was lagging. We're going to hit going very, very hard. Ugh. So the main chute was ripped off. Please don't die. Ooh. Dang.
So yeah, we lost a tourist. That's not good. The main chute was ripped off. So, I think we lost some reputation there. Yeah, they're not happy with us. But that happens, I guess. Dang. That really stinks. So, we're gonna have to find a way to make money in a different way. Tourism's not gonna do so good. Let's see, they want me to ferry three tourists. They all want to go suborbital. So, let, let's try, I'll try that again next episode. So, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video if you want, and have a nice day.